Let's talk Tanya for the second of, of, of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we discussed the relationship between davening and tshuva ilah, the higher level of tshuva, the tshuva whose goal is to achieve complete unity with God. Based on this, Dr. Rebbe resolves two statements of our sages that seem to contradict each other. One statement that our sages tell us is, which means that when a person gets up to daven, it should be from a state of somberness, even bitterness. Another statement of our sages, which seems to be diametrically opposed to that, is, that when a person gets up to daven, it should be from a state of joy. Now, which is it? Is it a state of somberness and bitterness, or a state of joy? We've discussed the two levels of tshuva, the lower level of tshuva and the higher level of tshuva. The lower level of tshuva is characterized by bitterness and somberness. As we explained, tshuva tata, the lower level of tshuva, is contemplating the damage that we've done, the mistakes that we've made, how we've gotten ourselves, our neshamas, our souls, and God stuck in the clutches of klipa and the filth of klipa. And that leads a person to a state of brokenness. The higher level of tshuva, on the other hand, tshuva ilah, is about reuniting with God. That obviously produces an incredible joy. So the lower level of tshuva and the higher level of tshuva, each one, the mood that they produce is a totally different one. Now, if davening, as we said, is about tshuva ilah, about uniting with God, but we know before the higher level of tshuva, we always need to have the lower level of tshuva because we need to first extract ourselves from the filth to use the terminology that we used in previous segments, first we need to change from Russia and transform to Tzaddik, and then afterwards we can work on the higher level of Tshuva, which is achieving this incredible unity with God. So before davening, we need to do some Tshuva Tata, we need to do the lower level of Tshuva. So when our sages tell us that when we get up to daven, it has to be from a state of bitterness and somberness, this is because before we start davening, we're supposed to take a few moments to do tshuva, the lower level of tshuva, to contemplate the mistakes that we've made, the sins that we've done, and do tshuva for that, and then we're ready to move on to davening, which is the higher level of tshuva, which is from a state of joy. Dr. Rebbe tells us that in today's day and age, it's difficult for us to flip that switch, meaning before davening, tshuva tata, that state of bitterness and somberness, and then immediately move to another emotional state, which is a state of joy. And therefore, Dr. Rebbe says, today what we do is, we um, pull that tshuva tata earlier, and we do that in what's called tikkun chatzais, which is the, the special prayer which is said at midnight, which many people say, actually today not that many people say it, but back in the day more people said it, which is a prayer which is expresses tshuva and brokenness. Today we don't really do that. Today instead we do kriyashma shalamita, which is the bedtime shema. So the bedtime shema, that is the time appropriate for the lower level of tshuva and to feel that brokenness over the sins that we have done, and then we wake up in the morning, ready to daven from a state of joy. Dr. Rebbe concludes today's Tanya explaining an enigmatic verse. The Pasuk says, God turns to the Jewish people and says, Shuva Eli Kiga Alticha, return to me because I've redeemed you. And the question is, if we've been redeemed already, why do we need a return? So Dr. Rebbe says, Kiga Alticha, I've redeemed you, that is the lower level of Shuva. The lower level of Shuva is where we're redeeming ourselves from the clutches of Klippa and getting rid of our sins. After we've done that, after we've been redeemed from the klipa, and now we're tzaddikim, now God says, Shuvah Eli, I want you to return to me. Now it's time for Shuvah Elah, the higher level of tshuva, where you gain complete and total unity with me. In terms of the two emotions that we're talking about, the brokenness, which is a result of the lower level of tshuva, the joy, which is a result of the higher level of tshuva, and how we reconcile these two emotions, um, so today we spoke about the idea that we separate them in different times. In tomorrow's Tanya, we're going to have a new idea of how to reconcile these two conflicting emotions.